Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and I am here with a review for Ghost Teen Escape from Limbo on Xbox. Now this released on the 5th of June 2024, developed by Derek D.F and published by East Asia Soft Limited and I was looking to present a copy for this review. Now, this is also available on Switch and PlayStation and PC, so check it out on one of these platforms. Now, this is a 2D pixel like platforming game where you play as this teenager who basically ends up stuck between life and death, and you're trying to escape from Limbo. So, this is a single screen, like, level puzzle game, 50 single screen puzzles to work through, each with a variety of different pitfalls, traps, platforming sections that you have to overcome to basically get a key to unlock a door to move on to the next zone. Now, some of these levels are basic platforming. You'll jump over spikes, you'll avoid like uh, enemy fire, you'll grab... Um, boxes and push them over spikes you can jump over them all that sort of stuff but the interesting mechanic here is sometimes you have to interact with these hazards in order to die and become a ghost now becoming a ghost makes you basically be able to float around to ledges that you may not have been able to get to previously as well as pass through things you may have been killed by if you were a human you then go to these like tombstones to respawn and you then turn back into a human. So it's all about utilising the mechanic of being a ghost and a human whilst also doing it within like three lives in order to get to the exits. Now, it says that they get gradually harder, but I feel like some of the later levels are quite easy compared to some of them quite early on. So... New things are introduced as you play, new sort of mechanics and stuff like that, new hazards and obstacles you have to avoid. But overall, the gameplay is very similar. Now, it's not that long a game. The 50 levels can be completed in an hour to an hour and a half. It's also a very easy 2,000 gamer score already, and you can pick up the 2,000 in about half an hour. You don't even have to finish the full game to get the achievements game is playable on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S consoles. It's optimised for Series X and S with 4K resolution 60fps, supports smart delivery and it's priced at £4.19. Overall, a fun but short little platformer. Not a huge amount to it, like I say, it is very simplistic. The ability to like die and turn into a ghost to progress through some of the puzzles is nice but it's not utilized in enough puzzles it should be used in every single puzzle in my eyes whereas some levels you don't even have to die to complete them and that's the only downside but definitely worth checking out so if you're interested it's available right now on pretty much every platform so hit that like button guys hit subscribe and i'll see you soon for more gaming content bye for now